Speaking of membership, what do you see as uh, the groups see as success <coughs> with memberships? Well, we, we didn't really get to uh, exactly how to build the membership or where it would want to be there, but the way how to build it is you need to show the value for what your membership's going to bring you. But you guys did it in your group a little bit different. Show value of membership. How was... Getting really into the howler because we got, like, how do you show the value? I heard you guys talking about a tagline. Something very simple to understand very quick. Right? No, no, no wrong group. group, wrong group, wrong group. Wrong group, so bad, so sorry. You're bad. <laughs> I was on a roll. <coughs> Paul's not paying attention or he would have jumped right on it. What was the success of Legend Membership the MSA? Say, five years ago. Well, half would you would like to be at half, but full would be like far better. 100%. 100%. Mike, you should study more for these tests. In membership? Yeah. Is there any is there any particular year that you had like a really big jump in membership and then you have to see what the stimulus was? The first big jump was Yellowstone issue. The second big jump was the closing of the Mason track. If this came up in Mackinac City, and the answer is it goes to when there's a critical mass, when there's a crisis, people show up, people get involved. It goes back to that whole association mentality that volunteers have been talked about. People come out when the trail closes, etc. So, yeah, when there's a critical issue, that's what we need to do. What you got? You got anything on accountability? No, we don't want to. All right, that's your Very good. Next group. What were you? Four. I'm going to use the same word. All right. I don't really know what we did, but I know what I want to say. So we'll just use He's got the floor. Go. Uh, communication. I, we kind of took a different take on this. So uh, communication. Um, membership. Informing. Um, memberships up. Memberships all informed uh, on legal issues and membership knows everything that the upper the people the board members know so communication that's what I that's what I see in the future is you know everybody knows everything so that they can throw their two cents in you know we all need to be able to hey I got somebody I know that can help out you know that's what it's all about um, success of accountability uh, less money out of our pocket um, the more we hold the DNR to the fire about the money, the you know the more money we may have. You know, if if in fact there's money being squandered, we may end up not having to have a trail permit increase one time because the the monies are kind of held a little tighter. Okay, hey, yes. Yeah. Oh, Karen's just sitting over there. No, she's oh, got she, accountability, sweet. All right. She's got your back. She's got your back, baby. I'll talk this way now. Uh, membership. Who's got membership? I got you right here. What's your goal in membership? I'm what's, sorry what's we're confusing you, Paul. Fuck, I am. Can you try to keep up? <laughs> membership. Success. What success looks like? The membership, MSA, is a force to reckon with. You know, in the future, that's, that's what we want. We want to be able to walk in someplace and know that you know, we mean business. We're here for a reason. Strengthen the whole Yep. Um, and, and, and the MSA is a club everybody wants to join. Not just, you know, 30 guys from the internet. You know what? This is a different look at it. But it, it, I said it was different. So. In it. <laughs> but I'm it's a different kind of guy. <laughs> Everyone wants to be on the bandwagon. You're all Everyone wants to be Paul's yeah. friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's still on a minute to have no friends. Okay, so back to yeah, we'll resources. Or the next one. Resources. Uh, the resources that we need to use for communication. Oh, wait a minute. Go ahead. We'll pick one. Did I go through all of them? Yeah, I did MSA membership as the success. All right. 
So I was moving on to resources. So resources, um, better website, forum, message board, placement for emails, visibility, um, those are all the types of resources we have to use in order to get this whole thing accomplished. Without question, everybody in our group agreed on that, and wherever my group is. It's about marketing. What? It's about marketing. Yeah, it's about yeah. It's it's about how you how you market it to to snowmobilers in general. Um, so that was that. Resources for the only thing we come up for accountability is audits, audits for the DNR. Um, we struggled with that one a little bit. It's pretty cut and dry. Our money for snowmobiling, we want it used for snowmobiling, plain and simple. Um, resources for membership, offering incentives, joining, meaning, an exclusive website for all members that join. Meaning the message board where you can interact with possibly interact with grant sponsors, groomers, members of the MSA, uh, other members of the MSA, people that live in certain locations. Kind of like the message boards we all go on anyways, but something more geared towards just Michigan where we can get legal information, you know, what things are hidden in Lansing that we need to send emails on, stuff like that. Um, an exclusive website. That's interactive with all levels. All levels. Yeah, all levels. Start to finish. One stop shopping, somebody said that. It should be there. It should all be on the MSA's website. MSA is who's fighting. The MSA should be providing the information as well. Um, and then, then you've got a reason, okay, my neighbor is able to get up to date information on his place up north. How is that? Well, he goes on the MSA's website and there's a guy from locally in the area that posts on the site and he tells them exactly how much snow falls. Really? And all of a sudden he wants to join too. So, I mean, it's a small thing, but it, it's huge. Uh, younger participants is another um, another means of getting resources that we have to use, going after the younger, younger generation. Um, more focus groups just like this to educate not so much focus groups, but educational type um, gatherings. For communication. Yeah. We said a word. How did you say that? I heard you say it. Education right? gatherings. I can see it both ways. Okay. So, um, see, that's that's where I got all screwed up. You're you're doing it right. I'm reading it wrong. Because um, I wrote this all up here and meant to write it down here. Uh, advertising campaign, just go nuts on an advertising campaign to increase membership, um, to implement. This is a big one for resources to gather membership. Members themselves are the greatest means of promoting and advertising. The MSA logo needs should be updated, created a little, create more of an edgy 2008 type logo, something that some a stick and then new stickers and then stickers that are sent out with membership packs that guys are gonna put on their trucks and trailers. Driving up I-75, I guarantee you we all read all the stickers on everybody's vehicles. I <laughs> all no the sticker guy back there he hates stickers but uh, he. Uh, Still he, he dabbles in stickers. I only read yours. Oh, so you members only do themselves mine. are the best vehicle to market membership. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's it's free. You're sending a sticker to the to the member. Why not make it? I mean, I've got a lot of MSA stickers, and they're all in a folder. Not because I hate the MSA. Not because I don't promote the MSA. Because they're not cool. It's just not a cool sticker. Guys want cool stickers to put on their trucks. If it's a cool sticker, they'll put it on their trucks. Make it a cool sticker, they'll put it on their trucks. People driving by see it, go, oh, the more MSA stickers you see on vehicles, the... Oh, 